of practicing because if you don't you're gonna get lost in the matrix you will get lost in it if you don't practice if you don't stay grounded it will eat you alive that's why practice meditation quiet the mind and understanding these things daily practice will help you return consciousness to the so let's keep right now the root chakra it is our responsibility to bring to light that which is in the unconscious that's real important. You're going to hear so many people talking about, I'm doing breath work because it's bringing out what's inside of me. I'm doing ayahuasca. It's bringing out what's inside of me. I'm doing hypnosis. It's bringing out what's inside of me. Okay, that's great. It's bringing out what's inside of you. Now when it's out, what are you going to do with it? So I'll try to answer that question if I can. I just got to, sorry. Um, what do you do What it comes up what do you do when it arises it's acknowledge it understand it now if this is your if this is more child work more like childhood wounds work it's to visualize yourself with with your with your with your um with yourself as a kid as a baby and nurturing it letting them know that you got you i'm okay you're good i'm strong now you're smart now and that doesn't happen to you then you're safe that's the type of stuff you're doing when you're doing inner child work or inner trauma work or whatever. But that's that part. That's what you do there. You know, if it is shadows or if it's things that, you know, you repress to say um, addictions or if it ain't like that, it's just acknowledging it and letting it pass. Understanding, telling, this is where um, I learned this through sobriety playbook, which is tell your super conscious, super conscious, please reroute me. Please have me think about something different. Don't, uh, um, don't let these demons or uh, attachments try to get to me. You know, you acknowledge it. Don't suppress it. Don't run to it. You know, meaning as in go start using or doing stupid things. Or if it's um, about um, watching porn or if you're an addict in that sense of like sex and, you know, it's understanding is why am I feeling like this? Why do I feel anxious? Why do I feel uncomfortable? And the more you ask yourself these questions, your higher self will help you answer these questions and you'll get more at peace with it. Don't be, don't judge. Do not judge yourself. Be, be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Speak kindly to yourself and forgive yourself. That's where this is very, very important. That's where you have to forgive yourself at and let yourself know it's okay. You know, we all make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up about it and, 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 and talk to someone if you need to. You know, this is where a psychiatrist or a psychotherapist or a friend or AA or NA or sexaholic anonymous, any type of um, thing yep. will help you act as well, John's like. So let's uh, get back to it. So the key characteristics of the root chakra, it's associated with these behaviors. Security and safety, survival, basic needs, food, shelter, sleep, self-preservation, physical identity, and grounding. Those are the basic things that it affects. Oh, support and foundation for living our lives. What happens when the root chakra is out of balance? And this is where then he gives his explanation on hearing the tips. Connect to the earth, which I mentioned, hiking, getting grounded, going to the beach, going to the ocean, you know, um, touch, hugging a tree, talking to animals, getting out with nature, just, just getting yourself grounded into nature big. It says take care of immediate needs. Um, he mentions, I think, I believe, if you're if you're homeless, get a home. If you're having food, just just take care of your basic needs. Get out of that survival mode. Get out of that toxic environment. Get out of that toxic relationship. Just worry about you. Focus on you. You need to grow. Right now, it's only about you. It's about you and no one else. Be fucking selfish. Learn the power of no. I keep on going. How do you this is really important to start to understand that you have needs that are immediate. Don't put those needs off. Handle them now. Get them off your thing so you're not worried about them. Get your base down. Get your house in order. Get your food in order. Get your safety in order. Then you can move forward. Okay, um, go from outer focus into inner focus. Go from outer focus to inner focus. Stop letting outside things validate you. Fuck them. Fuck everything else. Go within. Go with you. Start listening to your intuition. Start following your heart. You know, start getting in tune with you. Get to know yourself. Heal thyself. These are all basic needs. And, and if it goes back to the basic needs, any tips? Yeah, but well, let's see what he has to say right now. Develop a deeper sense of self-love. Um, 
then this is just where to find how much value do you have. Are you going to put up with that toxic cycle? Are you, uh, uh, you going to allow that to happen to you? Reinforce your boundaries. Bulletproof boundaries and reinforce them is key right here. Big key. So let's see what else isn't it great that our motto here is how to, how to teach how to better self-love through conscious living? And in every one of the chakras, to heal it, you develop a deeper sense of self-love. That will heal every chakra. That will get the energy going. That self-love thing, self-acceptance, understanding, growing, becoming more, it's everything. But we tend to run from the simplistic and want complex. Don't need it. And this is my favorite part. This is what I've been trying to get to from the beginning. What happens when the root chakra is imbalanced? Well, this is what happens. Aggressive, excessive negativity and cynicism. What the fuck that means? We'll put the definition. Okay. Eating disorders, which is big, you know, because we have to cope. We cope with ourselves and, you know, we start to eat a lot and stuff like that. Greed. <laughs> It's a big one. No, I'm not sharing. No, you can't give my. No, I'm not going to share this information that I just. I'm not going to share my downloads. I'm not. Okay, just to give you guys an example. Anger. Do you have anger issues? Are you always mad? Are you always flipping people off? Uh, uh, are you letting other people get to? Because remember, what you see in others exists in you. It's their, their mere reflection. Especially if you know me. <laughs> okay? Excessive feeling of insecurity, living on survival mode, and consistently. If you're living in survival mode, and this is, he talks about it big time on his, his and, and Brandon, I mentioned it, you know, uh, it's that flight or fight thing. So if you're always constantly, you know, worried about who's going to get me and what's going to happen, who's going to be lurking on the corner, then you're in survival mode. So this is where you're affecting your root chakra, FYI. <laughs> and worry and depression, you know, and um, worrying, of course, where you know when you're worried about the past or worried about them cheating on you or worried about what's going to happen, anxiety, it creates anxiety and it creates all these other blocks in your Shockers. So we'll get it going. We'll keep it going. Go from an outer focus to an inner focus. Realize that this outer world is a reflection of the inner world, and where the change needs to happen is within you, in your mind, and how you view things and what you believe. Remember, I think I said this last week, and it was it's my favorite quote that I've ever come up with, and is that without commitment there is no belief. Do you really let that sink in? That if you believe something and you're not committed to it, it's a fantasy, it's a fairy tale, it's not a belief. When you believe something, you commit to it, meaning there is no turning back and you're gonna get it done. And the last one is, it talks about, it's the chief cause is defiant self-love. Getting to know yourself, understanding yourself, understanding your higher self, understanding consciousness, understanding there is more, understanding your dharma mm -hmm. on yourself, period, in general, um, and, and, and believing in yourself, understanding your intuition, uh, and, and trusting your intuition, your higher self, which is your higher self, the divine, the consciousness, the spirit, God, the angels. That's where all this comes into play. Base decision on trust and not fear. This is huge. So many times we, we make decisions based on fear instead of trusting there's a power in us that knows what's best for us and that we can follow that power and we'll always be led to the next step and the next step. And um, he mentions as well um, how to heal the chakras. You know, what's one of the good ways of healing the chakras? He talks about chakra meditation. Talks about affirmations, which is very, very useful, that I found very, very useful. You know, talk about balancing through music, which is frequency, vibration. Frequency is fucking big, it's huge. That's what I, I love wearing is earphones. And and especially, uh, you know, there's, uh, and oh, and he also has essential oils, which like oil baths and things like that. Um, aromatherapy is very, very big. And he talks about uh, energy healers and professionals, but to be careful with all uh, these people because not everybody is a pro at it. Not everybody, you know, there's a lot of fakes out there. There's a lot of people. So go with the people that you feel, that you understand, and that are, are, are vibing with you. You know, there's yellow flags that are going along. Don't blame them. Don't don't criticize them. It is what it is. You know, they're going through their own journey, so just let it go. But be careful with those type of things. And the easiest and the best one is the first one, like you mentioned, which is uh, chakra meditation. Yeah, it's because frequency is it's it's big, it's huge because everything is vibration. Everything is is um, 
it, it's on a wavelength and everything even the stuff this things right here it's it's vibrating in a, in a, in a certain frequency um, and there's been studies shown where like they'll put like a pitchfork on one end and they'll put a pitchfork on the other end of the room they'll hit it thing on one side and the tone the frequency will make the other one fucking vibrate how fucking trippy is that i think rockefeller even um has a frequency and, and it's to distort i think um, reality so sort of, not reality but to uh, make us ill and sick there's actually frequencies that do that type of stuff as well, i'm hearing and understanding but yeah so. then he goes on about um speaking about how he heals it with this mantra um, of the meditation of doing this daily on a daily basis where you can help heal this chakra and it's it I believe it's key because of um, just uh, the it's Lam Om Am Harim Shin Sri Marte Nasha Lam something like that <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll put it up right there and I'll put and he, he does a great job at it but this is just one way this is just the root chakra we have seven more chakras to go um, and I'll try to put this out daily if I can. If, if, if uh, not that if I can, you know what? I'm gonna challenge myself, and we're gonna do these seven chakras, and we'll try to put one out daily, or if not, one every other day, at least, um, just to get this going and um, just to get the basics of the chakras here. Okay. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll get the next chakra going. Bye. Okay. So here is my master chart. You're gonna see this at the end of every week. This is how I believe you can heal the third chakra. And this is the wisdom that I've taken from three different gurus and I've implemented it into my life. You're going to sit quietly in a comfortable position. You're going to put your focus and bring your focus to the base of your spine. You're going to surround it in red light. Red is the color of the root chakra. So I see that red energy, I see it moving. And while I see that, then I go into the mantra. The mantra is Lam, Om, Aim, Harim, Shrim, Shri, Matri, Namaha, Lam. This won't take you long to memorize. And when you see the other mantras I'm going to give you, there'll be a very slight variation so you're going to be able to get all seven of them and you'll be able to do a put together a whole meditation when we're done.